Now, quite a few people have said that you are actually downloading Hyper-V from the internet, and this is simply not true. It is already pre-installed on Windows 10 Pro and above or Windows 11 Pro and above. You don't need to download it. You just need to enable it in the turn features on or off. And I'll do this to, just to show you that you can turn the internet off and enable this feature and it'll be installed. It's pre-built into Windows and you just have to enable the feature. There's even people here claiming that you need to still install the software and it's simply not true. So I want to prove this to you guys just so it stops all the trolls and the doubters or people that are just posting stuff that they know nothing about. So you can see here, there's still people here claiming that you physically have to download this off of the internet. And this is simply not true. You can have no internet and still enable uh, the Hyper-V on your Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro system. And enabling it isn't uh, installing it really. It's already installed. It's part of the operating system. You're just turning it on. And that's all you're doing really. So have a look at this one here. This is basically someone saying, don't I know any other videos other than Windows 11? Well, this works on Windows 10 too. So I don't know what else you want me to do. If I showed you both processes for Windows 10 and Windows 11, then people would complain that the video is too long. It's very hard to please everyone on the internet. And I do my best to try to cover every bit of information, but you have to draw the line somewhere. Otherwise the video will be just too long and people lose interest. So why am I disabling all of the internet on this computer? Because I want to show you that you can actually install it without any internet. It proves that it's actually pre-installed on the operating system, going into the Windows features here and putting the tick in Hyper-V and just clicking OK. You can see here it's searching for required files and it's just going to enable them. And that's it, it's done. We've got no internet access at all on the computer. As you can see in the bottom right hand screen, you can see there's no internet access and we've now enabled the feature of Hyper-V. But I think sometimes people just love to split hairs or they just love to look for faults in videos on people's YouTube channels. And instead of going off and testing it themselves, they believe that they know the answer and then they want to go in the comment section and let you know that you're wrong and they are right and it will just get really messy. And other people see those comments and then they start jumping on the bandwagon. And before you know it, you've got a bunch of people saying the same thing. Uh, so I just wanted to make this quick video just to show you that it is just enabling a feature that's already built into Windows and you're not downloading it off the Internet. So I hope that answers all of your questions.